Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the customer prepayment item on an invoice or a sales receipt. So let's go ahead and start by asking someone for the customer prepayment or the customer deposit. I'm going to start by creating my invoice. I'm going to select my customer. We'll do Sally the customer. Uh, I'm going to say a quantity of one. I'm going to say customer deposit is what I'm looking for. My default description says this is the customer deposit. I don't think I want that for this invoice, so I'm just going to replace it. I'm going to say a deposit for 2022 project, right? You would put whatever you wanted there. All right. So deposit for 2022 project, I will call it a $500 deposit and then I'll choose save and close. So I want you to see what's happening behind the scenes. Let's go to reports. Let's go to company and financial and let's go to the balance sheet. When I look at the balance sheet, I can see my accounts receivable is $510 and my client prepaid funds is 500. Let's double click or drill down into accounts receivable. I can see my accounts receivable is the invoice that I just made and some other invoice from a different video that I've created. So I'm like, okay, cool. $500 in accounts receivable. $500 is what we're expecting to get down here in the prepaid funds. I have $500 is my balance. Let's just carry this forward and let's mark it as paid. So we're gonna go customer receive payment. So let's go to Sally. Uh, let's just make it so she pays both of them so I can clear them out um, and then save and close. So now when we look at our balance sheet, she there's nothing left in accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is fully paid. I have $500 sitting in client prepaid funds. If I go over here to the profit and loss, I'm just going to change this to be, well, it's already got this month. There is no income. The $500 that I collected, it's sitting there on the balance sheet waiting for me to use it. So that's really what I wanted you to see. That my prepaid funds is here. It's not income yet. So now let's fast forward into future land and imagine it's time to apply that money. Let's go create an invoice. I'm going to select create invoices. I'm going to pick my customer, Sally, and we'll pretend that it's a couple days later. So let's say quantity of one and project. It's a cool project. Uh, let's imagine that our project is a $1,000 project. N now she's already paid us $500. So we have it sitting there in customer deposits. I want to apply that money to her invoice so she can see that she got credit for the money. So I'm going to pick a quantity of one. I'm going to choose customer deposit and then I'm just going to change this text. My default text is never going to be right. Um, I mean, no matter what, right? When you have a customer deposit, you're going to want to customize that text. All right. And then over here for the price, I want to do a negative $500. And so what I'm asking my client to pay is the balance of 500. What I'm doing on the back end is I'm saying, okay, QuickBooks, increase my sales by 1000 and decrease my customer deposit by 500. So I like all of this. I'm going to say save and close. Now I want you to see what it looks like on the balance sheet. Let's go company and financial. Let's go to the balance sheet and let's make it through the end of the month. So you can really see what's going on. My customer deposit account is a liability account. It no longer has anything down there. There are no more customer deposits to be used up. I used it up when I made the invoice. I have $500 in accounts receivable. So even though they have not yet paid their invoice, I have taken the money out of there and I moved it up in accounts receivable. N now let me show you what it looks like on the profit and loss. I'll go to reports, I'll go to company and financial, and I'll go to profit and loss. I'm going to change this to include the end of the month. I can see $500 of consulting income is here. 
there's only $500 here because only $500 has been received. If you're looking at this on an accrual basis, you'll see that it goes from 500 to 1000. I'll demonstrate by changing the report basis from cash to accrual. And now it goes up to 1000. I hope this video has been helpful. I really wanted you to see how you can receive a customer deposit and have it show up on the balance sheet. And then I wanted you to see how you can apply the customer deposit on the next invoice that you make for a customer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you'd like to see a step-by-step -step guide with pictures, we'll put a link to that in the description. Thank you so much and have a great day.